Yeah, I'm a, definitely a totally different person since I came in five years ago. Um, when I came in, I was ready to rock and roll and rule the world, and I was a cocky little freshman who really didn't know anything. Um, and I thought I was just gonna just come in and just take control and you know be the number one runner, and that definitely definitely didn't happen. Uh, I was pretty new to running and pretty new to the sport in general, and it was just a whole nother level coming from high school to college and practices more and more difficult and there's just a lot more going on and things you have to manage and the past three years I've just really learned a lot just for those time management skills and then just how to work in a collegiate team and how to work at a collegiate level there's just a lot more that goes into it that people don't see and you really have to be dedicated uh, to that cause. Yeah so I've had a lot of injuries in the past five years and uh, I think I actually calculated it out once I spent about two and a half years of my five here on the stationary bike um, which is what we do when we can't run. Um, my, my biggest one was I had a labral tear, uh, which is a piece of cartilage in your hip that, that kind of flaps around, uh, and once it gets torn, it doesn't heal. Uh, so they had to, I had to have surgery, and they go in and they, they repair that, and it's a, it's a very long recovery. It's a, at least six weeks in a brace, um, no weight, crutches, you know, the whole nine yards, and then it's almost a year till you're back to normal. Uh, so that was, that's my, been my biggest injury, and you know, when it first happened, it kind of starts as just this dull little pain, doesn't really, that just never really goes away, and it steadily gets worse and worse. So, before my sophomore year was probably the biggest injury that I dealt with during my collegiate career. I experienced some pain in my right hip during the summer, and I didn't really know what it was, and finally during the winter, I figured out that I had an impingement. That meant that the uh, ball in my hip socket was scraping against uh, an impingement, which is basically a bump. And so it was basically tearing up the labrum and lots of other stuff in there. And it was just causing a lot of damage and causing a lot of pain. And that ended up developing on my left side too. So uh, my sophomore year, I had to get surgery to fix that on my right side in February and my left side in May. So that was just a really tough process just going through all that having to go through two surgeries and then having to go through all the physical therapy. At getting through hip surgery was definitely a long process it was you know almost almost 18 months till I was back to, to running normal um, and just trust a lot of trust in, in my doctor and my physical therapist and the, you know the group that had built up that had kind of come up around me to help me to help me get through that and you know I could have never done it on my own just lots of lots of physical therapy, lots of starting to run and then feeling a pain or feeling a you know a stitch that that wasn't quite right and going back to, to ground zero and just the biggest thing was just having trust that I would be able to get back and that it wouldn't it wouldn't be a career ending thing. And so coming into this year, qualifying for nationals was definitely on our radar. That was what we set out to do, and finally doing it just really means a lot. It's been it's been. Yeah two years since, we, since we've been to Nationals as a team. Uh, the last time we sent a team to Nationals was my sophomore year, which I was on. Um, and it just, it just shows that the, the whole team came together and really put in the work. Uh, you know, cross country season starts in the summer. If you, if you don't have a good summer of training, it's, it's pretty much over before it even starts. Um, so the, the whole team, all, all the guys, you know, we, we put in a ton of work and rain or shine, we were, uh, we were out there putting the miles and doing really ridiculously hard workouts. Um, but it, it, you know, it all paid off, and now we are going back to nationals. My name is Thomas Bombach. I'm a fifth year senior, and I'm uh, on the cross country and track and field teams here at Cornerstone. I'm Tyler Steigenga, and I'm a fifth year senior, and I run cross country and track and field at Cornerstone University.